Hi, welcome back to the Pool Butler YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to spotlight one of our most recent blog posts. So, without further ado, Robert, take it away. Thanks, Jennifer, and thank you for watching our video about saltwater versus chlorine swimming pools. For years, swimming pools have been synonymous with chlorine. Many people have childhood memories of heavily chlorinated pools. Burning eyes, itchy skin, and even green hair were all symptoms of too much time in the pool. Starting in the 1980s, another type of pool started to become available. These saltwater pools didn't require the addition of chlorine. For many people who were sensitive to chlorine, this seemed like a great alternative. But what really is the difference between saltwater and chlorine swimming pools? They may not be as different as you think. If pool water was left completely untreated, it would very quickly turn into an algae-filled swamp. That is because standing water, like the water in a pool, is a perfect home for algae and bacteria. You can read the full blog post entitled Saltwater vs. Chlorine Swimming Pools on our website at thepoolbutler.com. We have a link directly to this post under the video in the description box. In addition to our blog, be sure to check out the rest of the Pool Butler website. We have over six sections dedicated to helping you learn more about us and why we are the absolute best choice for all of your swimming pool maintenance, cleaning, and repair needs in Atlanta. Do you have swimming pool questions? No problem. On our website, you will find tons of answers, customer testimonials, our contact information, and multiple pages that highlight the swimming pool services we offer, including eco-friendly solutions. After visiting us online, email or call us directly, and we will be happy to answer any swimming pool questions you might have. Learn more about why The Pool Butler is the ideal company for your swimming pool needs on our website at thepoolbutler.net. And finally, make sure to check out the description box below this video, where there's a lot more information, including links to our website and social profiles. Thanks for watching, and now let's take it back to Jennifer. Thanks, Robert. Now it's your turn. If you like this video, click on the thumbs up icon and on the subscribe button below this video. After that, make sure to check out the description box where there's a lot more information, including links to our website and social profiles.